The C and Wit show? I'm watching that for sure. Oh, 100%. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm a female. I do not do work. I'm too rich for that. We don't like violence. Guys, I'm not gonna like brag or anything like that, but like, look, my wife shot. Everyone else? Fair Fuck them. <laughs> Welcome back, bitches. Hi. Big bitch here. Uh, on the mic. Yes. Lopsided cities here. Uh, infested cooch bitch here, too. That thing. <laughs> what? That was in English. She was probably throwing up in her mouth because, as you guys know, or don't, I think everybody knows. Do they? I'm pregnant. <sighs> there it is. We've actually been keeping it in for a minute. Every podcast we've actually had to. Actually, we were supposed veer. to veer. We were supposed to still keep it in for another veer away because she's literally two months. Like, mm-hmm. And don't I'm like start. this. It's been wonderful. First trimester ain't a joke. Ain't a fucking joke. And yeah. you know, it only gets worse. No. Nah. Well, no. I don't know. It could, could be me. I could have be sick my whole pregnancy. That would blow whole. That, that would be a fire on the hole because I couldn't imagine. During, feeling like this, like I have no urge to eat. That's probably why I weigh 105 pounds I now. I feed you. Mm-hmm. But then I throw it up. Mm-hmm. so it really sucks because i can't the i don't trash have cans at think, the airport i don't even know how to explain it because i mean a lot of people that are you know been pregnant before they could like i just can't wait for you to do it and, and be like oh so she wasn't being dramatic you know because you tend to say no, that i know me. you're not being dramatic because i seen you vomit on the side of an airport before we that that may be correct <laughs> i actually I was actually that panicking. Was, that, I couldn't find the bathroom, and I felt so bad because she, there's people that walking. That was the and she, opposite of eat. We, I, I actually didn't eat. No, and I was so nauseous. She from had not some Pringles. Eating. Yeah, those came right up. Um, How did? You, so we weren't planning this. Um, clearly, we. I say we as in as if I'm the one that's pregnant. Um, we weren't taking precautions. Yeah. Yeah. No condoms. But here, here was my precaution. No BC. But here was my precaution. All together as a group, we collectively, we collectively said, you definitely have an infertility problem. I, because I, mean, I the, went, fi- the last five months, I mean, there was nothing. Okay, but even before that, not to. To protect it. Not to say, bring up past, but before that, we was, there well, was no pull. He might actually be infertile because of how I many mean, STDs he probably has. That could be 100% true. And didn't think about that because now that I'm pregnant, I'm like, oh, that wasn't wasn't him it was actually <laughs> jacob jacob seems to be very fertile um so Do you think def- he, he definitely got his swimmers from the like from god because yeah the, <laughs> swim <laughs> because we were literally trying to be like wait what did you but at the, at, the, at the end of the day there was a hundred percent chance that you thousand were- percent that's like everyone's like oh she definitely planned it to like no. it wasn't an if it was a when sure was um but there was but no- it was when I get married and have kids. Uh-huh. That was when. Not, but you were probably expecting it to be a little bit sooner than it is. I'm gonna be honest, no, because we had already gone so long. No, but, but, but I mean, like, where's your ring? That part. Um, well, that part was probably supposed to come within the next year and a half. But now that we have a beautiful child on the way, we're both broke. <laughs> so we got. <laughs> so we've hey, got to. You got to get that 401k. You know what I mean? Yeah, I know what you mean. I'm excited, actually. So, like, I want to start from the beginning. So, Mama C found out, okay? First one she called was her sister. I- I'm talking, what was the conversation like? Okay, okay. so I'll just w- walk you through. R- right as I opened my eyes, because that's kind of when it all happened. Opened my eyes and was like, well, okay, so I had a symptoms of what I thought was my period. But it didn't feel unnormal to me. Like, I didn't feel like oh, well, this hurts more, like, I feel sick, or, like, nothing, I just, my boobs hurt, I had cramps, the good old... No bleeding, no, no, those spottings. No, um, but I wasn't late, so... What was this day? Give me the date. October 21st, I was supposed to start my period. Like, literally, but sometimes my period doesn't come right in the morning if I'm supposed to start, so I didn't think anything of it, so I just, I literally had one pregnancy test, and then also people on social media were like, well, if she had one, then she was definitely trying, have you ever had a scare before? <laughs> yeah. They come in a pack of two. So you take one, you're like, oh, thank God. So I had another one that was left from a scare be- previously. Um, thanks for concerning. Um, 
took it, peed on it. Actually, I didn't pee on it because I don't know how to do that. She peed in a cup and stuck it in there I and then like that's left. Easier. She dilly dally, did her chores. I for did the morning. because I wasn't stressed because I was like, oh, it's. I'm just bored. I did it's that 10 o'clock sometimes. in the morning. Like, my period will come in two hours or like after I usually pee and then I'm like, oh shit. There it is. Um, Jacob was sleeping at the time she goes in the bathroom. Pees, no, he wasn't sleeping. We actually, he wasn't he sleeping. actually thought he was going to get it on. I won't lie to you. He well, woke up, you're like, mm. And then I was like, I have to tinkle. I really was like, I really have to pee. So let me pee first and then I'm coming right back for you. I left. Um, took the test. I let Finley out. Um, played with her outside. Let her in. Fed her breakfast. And then remembered, oh, I took a test. This is why I know that like, I wasn't stressed out. I recorded myself because I thought it was funny. I do that every time. Every time I take a test because you never know. But I was laughing. Because, I mean, <laughs> you never I'm know. Like, Clearly, you didn't know. The first video, I'm like, hey, guys, going to take a pregnancy test. You have it? Yeah. I need to see it. Delusional at its finest. Um, did all the stuff. Went back to check it. Started the video. Not. And we'll be right back. sank to my asshole when I saw that I was injured but it was just one test so I was like okay that's definitely a false positive you're like <gasps> um yeah, I, I'm talking anxiety like there was no shot that Lex Pro was saving me that day <laughs> not a shot okay you seemed you seemed to oh mm -hmm. that's when you left so I called my sister I grabbed my purse would you tell her call her did okay. you show it to her I should she thought I was pranking her, which I wish I was. Um, showed her, and she's like laughing. Okay, she's like, "Ah, oh, <laughs> you're not funny." If you probably would have called me and showed me that, I probably would have said the same thing. Yeah, because I've done it before. I've done it before to her where I've showed a, I've drawn on a pregnancy test, and I've like pretended to like call her, and and so she thought it was a joke, and I was like, "I'm like shaking. I'm like, hey, I swear to God, it's not." She like, then stay on the phone with me. And I was like, okay. So I stayed on the phone with her and I left. I, I didn't even tell Jacob face to face. I texted Jacob and was like, hey, I got to run to Walgreens. This is when I was, my stomach issue. So that ga Gaviscon. That might have been why you were having stomach issues. It makes issues. sense now. So when, remember when you told me to get Gaviscon? Yes. It's my stomach. So I told Jacob that's what I was going to get from the CVS. But he said he clearly knew something was up because I had walked out of the bathroom. Didn't even go did back. Did he text you or say anything? He said, okay, text? let me know if you need anything. Oh. I'm talking, I'm shitting my pants. CVS was like, not even a mile away so we went there i pulled like driving in like no oh no i'm not getting on the phone my sister i'm shaking i'm like on the verge of tears i look a mess like an absolute disaster walk into cvs i grabbed every single pregnancy test that every kind there was everything <laughs> grabbed them all it was like 150 dollars. <laughs> i'm not kidding and i went up to the register i'm like shaking this dude had to look at me like i'm 12 like <laughs> she's new to this she's, she's very new <laughs> shaking i'm still on the phone with my sister i'm freaking the fuck out i get back i peed in a new cup like new pee because i was like maybe it's just that pee maybe it's just that one i didn't Did I, you just force the cup pee out the second time no because i was so nervous that i was like right you right got away. the nervous pee uh, so like bad Finley. so bad so i peed in them and then i took like six more and they say to wait three Did minutes you put all of them in the cup mm -hmm. they say to wait three minutes them hoes showed up in 10 seconds so dark Okay, so I'm pregnant. And then I sat in the bathroom for about 10 minutes, contemplating my entire life. Um, and Jacob came knocking on the door and he's like, you okay? I'm like, yeah, I'm fine. 
had the shower going after like i was showering i'm, I'm telling you i'm freaking i didn't know what the fuck to do he didn't walk in and see him all i counter. locked it i locked it so he couldn't come in well i didn't want him to come in <laughs> i'm freaking in the hell out I'm trying to figure out how the fuck i'm supposed to tell him did you guys ever have a conversation of like what if because i mean mm-hmm. considering you weren't so we can get into that after because that's i feel like that's a really good conversation to talk about um so then i i was freaking out I took like six more took them all i literally had like 10 tests in my hand and when Haley say then she was like okay this is happening yeah so then i was like i gotta tell jacob so hung up the phone on her and i'm literally pacing back and forth the bathroom i didn't know what to do and then i call him in i wanted okay so like i've always thought you know when i found out i'm pregnant like i always want to do something cute for jacob like tell him like you know get like but a i sign feel like that's like something. a planning kind of thing yeah a hundred fifty thousand percent and so I pulled him into the bathroom. I have it on recording too, so I'll send it to you as well. Um, pull him into the bathroom, and then I just start crying. Like I'm like hyperventilating, crying, don't know what to do. And then I was like, "We we've got to go to the doctors." Not that they could have told me anything really different other than I'm, I'm pregnant. And not even though I had ten tests, I still didn't believe it. I was in such denial. I'm like, no. Yeah, but you could. You don't. I mean, obviously, if you had the period the month before but i feel like me and you don't really track like that like we don't really i do but we don't i didn't i would if i remembered to track my period i would have um but mine were pretty regular when i knew that it was coming it was the end of the month the last week of the end of the month into the first week of the new month like that's i just knew like when my period was going to come and then i get cramps before and stuff like that so that's what i was experiencing so i thought that shit was so normal then we went to the walk-in clinic i still this is like noon and i still hadn't eaten or drink any water i was like freaking out went to the walking clinic peed on a test again they confirmed it and then they said they could do a blood test but i was so dehydrated that they literally like my blood was not coming out of me and then so they couldn't do a blood test because that's more accurate than a urine sample not that but they're like yeah you're pregnant so then made a call to the ob and the ob that i'm using is the same one i use my gynecologist with that I had my pap smear with from a week ago. So I'm pretty sure I go the week before, I literally had a pap smear. So that's why I was so confident. Yeah, thank you. Look at me like that. Yeah, thank you. I was Wait, like, you can tell when, can't you, when they look in there and they're like, boop, boop. Well, they did blood work too on me. And they didn't tell you? No. Did you call them? It's like, excuse me, so none of you guys wanted to tell me that I'm pregnant? They didn't test. When I went back to my first they appointment. They always test. I guess they said, normally we don't unless there was suspicion. But I had told her that. I'm like, no, there's like no way. Not that there's well, no the way. Period? And I was like, I was just... But low-key, sometimes people do get their periods And it was so funny because I was talking to the um, OB and... and, Because the girl that did my pap smear is actually a midwife as well. So she's my midwife as well. Oh, really? Um, Yeah. And I I came and talked to her and I was like... So I'm not really trying to have kids. This was literally a week before I found out I was pregnant. I'm not, I'm like, I'm not trying to really have kids, but I'm a little concerned because you guys were freaking me the fuck out. I'd be like, yeah, you should definitely be pregnant. So yeah. I was freaked out. I was like, that's why you got blood work done. Yes. To see if there was anything hereditary or, you know, something that could be and wrong. Came back nothing, and you're like, mm, yeah, by the way, when you're calling me for my results, I am actually, yeah, I'm with child. Um, <laughs> I am with Mary. Yes. I was just telling him, I was like, listen, I'm not trying to have a kid right now. We're also not like preventing it. Um, but I know that menopause, my mom started when she was 30. And that's really, really early. So that's like five know, years from you. Yeah. So she did. And that's not supposed to happen. My mom still is. No, that's not supposed to happen. Like 50, like three. So I was really concerned. I'm like, well, what if it's hereditary and things like that? Because I'm like, by the time I finally get married, I'm going to already have my tubes yeah. tied or something. Be starting menopause and not be able to have kids. So that's always been my biggest fear in life is just not be able to have kids. So I brought it up to her. And she's like, well, you know, there's no, like, no one has a hard time getting pregnant in my family. I mean, everyone had miscarriages, but it wasn't anything that was alarming. So she's like, I would just, when you're ready to, like, actually try, you know, if it doesn't happen naturally on its own, there's always other options or whatever. A week later, I came back in for my appointment. She's like, well, there you have it. It's like you don't have to. Looks like you are good. (laughs) So, yeah, Mm -hmm. that's kind of how I found out I was pregnant and then I told my mom that same day I couldn't hold it in because it wasn't it wasn't like the exciting like you know like I want to do something cute for me I was just so scared out of my mind Mm because this was not supposed 
not 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 supposed to happen but like this just wasn't in our plan Mm -hmm. so yeah so Mm -hmm. i told my parents the first day and they were they were really supportive which was really nice did you so after i told my parents and they were excited i was so excited to tell everybody else what about your what about jacob's family told them the same day as well did you go to that to them no because they wouldn't answer the phone all day so finally when they called us like we're pregnant but everyone's had the same answer oh i felt it i knew you were pregnant yeah so did i mm-hmm. we, i felt it when we were sitting here and we we're like joking around like mm, it's coming. I, when, remember I when we were in the car with kieran she we were like she's like it's so hard to get pregnant i'm looking at her i'm like ain't no way this she's gotta be then the next two months i feel it crazy called it crazy shit yeah. but it's been a little bit of a rough ride the nauseous the not wanting but you to weren't eat. nauseous until what like a week six after six weeks out? right on the dot of six weeks i started to feel like shit so the first two weeks were a breeze when i found out <laughs> not after that <laughs> yeah, you're like mm, i'm really hungry not yeah mm. so like would you say like you're happy or are you excited? oh i'm happy now because of how many people are really so i'd be really nervous if not as many people were supportive as they are, especially my parents because yeah, what, what would they say though like what is there and to say? I mean, you're... I'm 23. Yeah. I mean, I'm out of teen pregnancy. You got your own yeah. place. You can go your and own. even if I was 16 and pregnant, my parents would probably still be just as yeah. supportive. So, because our parents all were teenagers when yeah. they had kids. So, I mean, I feel like... But I'm happy now. At first, I was like, this is just the worst thing that could have happened. <laughs> Truthfully, because, I mean, he's still going through court with his kid and... Yeah, I don't know. It was just not the ideal time yeah. to. So we'll go back to the other question. What did Jacob feel like before you all even found out? Was there like a, hey, if I mean, since you all weren't preventing it, what was it like? Oh, what if I do? Like mm, I would like bring up. We would talk about it, but it wasn't. It wasn't like conversations like, well, when you get pregnant, because we truthfully thought that like well that's delusion because now they think about it it's like why am i not yet yeah no like actually because he didn't pull out all the time (laughs) honestly or or, yeah so but i would i would bring up a lot of stuff um because i've always wanted a family and i would just bring up stuff like when i do get pregnant like I don't want you to treat me this way because I had to talk about it on my Snapchat actually the other day. Us, yeah, I, I remember we talked about it one time about how you were struggling with the the fact that he's already got one. So and, and it's not the fact that he has a kid; it's no. the fact of I don't want to feel downplayed. I don't want to feel like you're over exaggerating or yeah. Because yeah, I know. I know this it's your is your first time living. Yeah, so too. I don't know what the fuck is going on with my body. Why is my nipples two different sizes and one's brown, one's pink, one <laughs> fucking like I don't fucking know why this shit's happening. <sighs> I'm I don't know why I don't want to fucking have sex with you. I don't know. Okay, don't put it near me. <laughs> I, I'm definitely not sucking your dick because I will vomit everywhere. Uh, everywhere. Okay, I do that either way. Uh, I don't know why I don't want to eat. I want to, but I can't. I don't know why I was crying the other day watching TikTok videos because that's just not, it wasn't sad. But I just don't want to be made to feel like we go to an appointment and, oh, yeah, this is when it's supposed to be. This is happening. I, shut your mouth. Yeah. He's I'm never he, experienced by myself. He's never done that. But I think he knows. I mean, he's pretty quiet as it is, but he's also experiencing a different version of. Yeah. I mean, he loves you. He wants yeah. to have this baby with you. So it's like. A different experience. He was excited the second he found out. Like, yeah, yeah he was a little scared because I think I made him, like, scared because I was, like... It's a panic. Holy fucking shit. But he was... At, we were at the doctor's waiting and he was filming it. He and was, I saw him, he's like... he's re- <laughs> He was really excited. He was telling the nurses that he's so excited. I'm like... Oh, my God. Should I mean, I he's got one. Yeah, They ain't got to go through shit. But this is going to be... Well, I mean, pregnancy-wise. I know. I ain't got to put up with anything. He's eating, he's eating all the fucking shit he wants. Bro, I hate when, dude, I'm like, Tyler said something the other day. He's sitting there and he's like, I'm, we're talking about birth, childbirth or something. He's talking about get, like kicked in the balls or something. I'm like, okay, I understand it hurts. And she's, and Kira's over here talking about her cramps hurt so bad. She had, she doesn't take birth control either. And you know, birth control oh, regulates I had, her cramps. I had really bad cramps. This motherfucker's like, well, hmm. try getting kicked in the balls. They're like. Did you kick okay, him in the balls? There's a literal, full, physical, scientific test of saying that our pain doesn't even compare. To anything. Birth a kid. Birth. 
Thank you. I mean, I haven't or yet, so I don't start, get let's it start. Let's start something. Get fucked in your asshole. Yeah. See how it feels getting something shoved the fuck inside of you. <laughs> See how it fucking feels. And it, it's like this big. It's like, sit That's on it. That's got to go inside. Sit on it. Yeah. And wait, it gets wait, cranked. Wait till y'all do this thing where you go all the way in and then you start like hammer jacking that shit. Have, try a, feel try it. a 10 cent- centimeter feel child coming out. Feel, feel sex first. Yeah. And, and, then, and then period cramps. Then childbirth. Mm-hmm. I don't know what childbirth feels like, but I can't imagine I'm going to do so hot. <laughs> I will. I'll be a fucking badass bitch. Um, <laughs> I'll pass. I'll pass out. I'll pass out fucking doing those I don't breaths. want. I don't want food. I don't, don't touch me. No. Don't touch me. Whitney, take my hand. <laughs> yes. Now, my sister asked me today. She goes, are you going to want to do an epidural? Oh, I'm not a fucking crunchy mom. Yes, I fucking get an epidural. I am getting an epidural. I'm not trying this whole unmedicated theory. No. I'm getting... Can you give me as many Prop, as possible on every single props limb? To the women before yeah. epidural was a thing because y'all fucking did that shit. I just watched a ba- a girl this morning give birth in her, in car, her car on the side of the oh, road. Yep, that's what. Um, I, saw, I started crying. Like, oh my god, yeah, baby so started beautiful. crying. Yeah, you know when she like waited. Oh my god. Yes. So but you found your hospital. I did. Mm. Found the hospital. I love that. Found the, my OBs. No gender yet. No, we're gonna do Next gender week. I'll January know. something. We're not gonna specifically say because yeah. you don't show up or something. But somewhere in January, we're gonna have explosive in the air. I am. I'm so excited. Hopefully, the test results come in because it's a blood test. Oh, you don't early. Well, I'm not. I didn't choose to do it. They said that they do it anyways. Oh, are you gotta do a 3D thing too eventually? Yeah, when I'm like six months pregnant, I'll eventually do all that. That'd um, be so cute. But yeah, it's it's a crazy life and couldn't be more. I have a lot of more peace with me being pregnant now than I did in the beginning. I was scared. I was like, I'm not really go without drinking. Now I couldn't even stand it. I was really yeah. telling somebody this yesterday. If alcohol was allowed to while pregnant, I couldn't I couldn't imagine drinking right now. Like. I haven't drank no. it really at all in the last like even since I found out you're pregnant. I feel like we haven't been none of us have really been drinking. Uh-uh. I feel like every time I drink, I throw up. Yeah, I just and that just, might pro- probably be a problem. Yeah, I'm not taking a test. <laughs> I tell you what, though, what comes becomes alarming is when you take 11 shots out with your friends and you don't get drunk. Hmm. You're pregnant. Yeah, that was interesting. Yeah, the night we went out, I know everyone's like, and you can't judge me this because everyone drinks obviously before you know you're pregnant, so y'all can say what the fuck you want because I had no idea for another two weeks. I still didn't know. When we went out with Whitney, well, when I went out with Kirsten and Whitney, hammered. I'm telling you, we found this bar that had like a dollar shots. We took 1,000% full advantage of that yeah. night. I should have been fucked ass up. We weren't. Because we took six shots there, back to back. It wasn't like, Me and oh. her were feeling it, just conversating. You're sitting in the back like. Everyone's like, and then we went, to poor, okay? we went to poor judgment, and they were, we were all taking shots back to back. And I'm like. I'm going to go soon. I actually am not It's not hitting. It. And no. y'all were fucking hilarious and hammered. Now it makes sense. Mm-hmm. That well, kid was in taking all of it and was like, this sucks. I'm hammered I'm down here. Lit, ma. I may be a lima bean, but I am a drunk lima. Um, uh, I'm saying no, but obviously when I found out I was pregnant, I haven't drank or yeah. done any of that shit. Well, that's good. I, I actually know somebody too that um, found out they were pregnant six months. They didn't know. That's hard. So I want to ask too... I already have a team. I'm personally a team girl. But for what reason? I'm going to be the auntie that's going to braid her hair. I'm going to put her in pigtails. I'm going to give her a skirt that literally is designed with a picture of my face on it and say fave auntie. Okay. Okay. I like, not cute. But can we do that five years from now? Attitude is going to be a 10 out of 10. Uh I uh, feel it. Yeah, well, because look She's who the mom is. By us. Okay, um, this motherfucker is gonna be so cute though. Okay. Cute little eyelashes. It'll be a, a girl. Uh, it's going Grayson's to look ha- like Grayson as Grayson's a girl. Grayson's hair. I put his. I didn't put his hair, but I had gathered his hair and put in a ponytail. I'm like, this is your sister. <laughs> it's uh, gonna be so cute. You can't ears. just say. Fat ears. But Jacob, as a girl, we don't have the image of that, but we will now. But I don't. But your face is so much more petite, and your nose and your eyes. 
it's like just a little baby. It's going to just be a brown headed you. Okay. Can we be honest though? With big old eyes. But Grayson's mom is petite little. Yeah. But looks just like Jacob. I know. And that's not shitting on her. Literally spitting image of Jacob. So is it, is it fuck the girl? Massive characteristics. Is it fuck the girl? Fuck the mom? No, we're going to see. So if it's a girl, it's going to come out and look just like you. We're going to. Uh. Hope. Um, regardless of what gender, better have my eyes. No hate Blue. to the brown eyes. Blue. But I think a dark haired, green eyed boy, girl. I'm going to say too, Justin's baby took all of his features and took her eyes. Mm. Well, I'm team boy all the way through. Um, because <clears throat> why? why I was just about to explain so well because let's start off high high and square fair um, me horrible kid <laughs> let's be honest uh, look where we ended up it's okay on our but that is I your... just can't I just can't imagine but okay. you, you're better you're doing great thank you okay but so when I was in high school my mouth Couldn't I be worse than me well, no not but we're you're, just you're, you're, you're 25 year old mouth horrid the worst thing i've ever even encountered <laughs> to be honest with you i'm like wow that was me who sailor raised that yeah i feel like i was raised on a ship but that took off on full blast i'm talking didn't stop still not stopping um she is yeah but me like growing up i had an attitude problem really bad i me now yeah i'm like don't when my daughter talks to me that's why you just i'm gonna flip this no, ma'am. shit out of me. no ma'am no it's not me no ma'am it's grab the vinegar stop it and i don't give a fuck what y'all say about child abuse my kid <laughs> will get vinegar and soap in their mouth because that's what i got as a kid and it's not traumatizing because i fucking love vinegar yeah loki i was so, like mom give me more i know i'm like wait that wasn't enough. i actually never <laughs> i don't think i ever got vinegar in my mouth because uh, i was always running I was on the run. Oh, no. I she, Justin would get it first. Mm-hmm. I'm in the back seat watching, and I'm like, she would spank Justin first. Can you and fix I'd be the like, carpet? It's I'd be bothering. like this. Oh, can't spankins? reach me now, mom. Spankins. Um, so I used to get in trouble, uh, for taking too long of showers because apparently I didn't pay the bills. Me too. Okay, so just because we don't pay the bills, apparently we can't take a hot shower. <laughs> so I just I'm get like trouble three for three hour showers. Uh, me too. I, like I sit down. My- I'm talking. I'm building a castle <laughs> inside there somehow with water. Never, got, never oh, got happened. Oh yes, those crayons. Got them. Oh, but I'd get in trouble. But this wasn't when I was like six or seven. This was when I was like in middle school, high school, just taking too long. Like I'm supposed to be in bed, you know, but I procrastinate or I'm supposed to do homework that I just never did. So we would know because dad would be like, as soon as you get out of the shower, you're getting a butt whooping. You know how many pairs of underwear and pants I had on after? Me too. Yeah. <gasps> Put yeah. pillows in that eighth. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. I had, you know, princess one. Don't even hate it. I wish it could be do. Mine was Cinderella, so it's fine. But I feel like it doesn't matter. I feel like no matter what, how they're raised is different because you could have a different dad, different mom, different teaching skill. Jacob is so sweet and very just soft. And so she's going to def. So Jacob's she, mom told me, he, uh, Jacob's mom told me that like he'd only get in trouble for doing like boy stupid stuff. Like, you know, climbing trees and like falling out and like breaking a bone. Like, what are you doing? And my brother would get or in trouble for mooning taking, and, or, and Yeah, or, like taking fireworks and like shoving it up their ass. Like, what are you doing? That's just stupid. But girls, they just put too much makeup on or put girls? makeup on each other. And girls, I can't wait for the middle school, high school because <clears throat> but it's anything not as bad. like these, yeah. put them away. I didn't have that problem. I was I actually, either, actually made fun it, of for wearing bras and I had no tits. No, actually, say my I got made fun of. And uh, why are you wearing those? Do you grade, have you nipples? Know, <laughs> <laughs> you know the tank tops from Justice, the built-in broad white tank tops from Justice. I I would wear them. I'd confess. No, no. Did you do it too? Tissue? <laughs> I would take the bras out of my bathing suits <laughs> and stack them. No, I stuffed and my bra with tissue. Because just... I had nothing all the way up till like senior year of high school. I had nothing there. Until like now. Well, actually till like a year ago. Mm-hmm. But no, I just can't imagine having a girl because when they talk back to me, I... do am I get do I get mad? But because boys do it too. They just look at you and you're like, really? No, the boy? Just take their video games away. That is the end of the world. Girls? No, you take their phone away. They have four more. Because yeah, I did. Me too. And I still saved my 700-day Snapchat streak when I was grounded. <gasps> Through your computer or your friend's computer. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Oh, you didn't think I still had my iPod, iPod 4? <laughs> mm, it works. You pulled me. 
yeah, underneath the pillow. I got caught every time. Me too. And then I just don't know what's gonna be in the new world by the time they're my because ours was the vaping. I had. What the, are you? What are you gonna it, do about like phones? You think you're I'm gonna? Not, the thing is, give I them a tablet. Yeah, I don't. See, Jacob's against it. I noticed. Jacob's but against it well, because thing. here's the thing: when he's little, not about like having, when he's you know twelve or thirteen, I don't see a problem having a phone. <clears throat> but a tablet, like when they're little, because I've noticed Jacob or baby does not have ADHD whatsoever. <laughs> That baby's calm to where he's so entertained he without can it. He stare at himself in the mirror and yeah. be content. Yeah, so keep it away from them as long as possible. And I, I agree. Like, growing up, we all had iPads and stuff. I but, I, but we weren't an iPad kid. Like, at dinner time, just to get the baby to shut up, you hand him an yeah. iPad. I don't... I, I, I agree with Jacob on that parenting thing because there's no need for the kid to not be, like... Consumed of, yeah, TV. Just, yeah. like, zero communication mm-hmm. skills. I don't... I don't but like as they get to like preteens and stuff i don't see anything wrong with a phone but definitely yeah. monitor i don't know i'm not i don't really see myself being that like mom Strict. that's like no sleepovers no this no that because that's not a childhood can i come with you and sleep over with you like that's not a childhood <laughs> to me i mean we're gonna have sleepovers with our kids you, you want to it's no, not gonna you, be you the kids having a sleepover going to your auntie's it's house. gonna be I, us get the hell out of my house <laughs> she can deal with you you can stay there too for a week oh i'm gonna pull Pack i'm gonna pull bag. I love it. I'm so excited. But no, I really want a boy because, well, everyone wants a boy first when they have their kid. Girls you know? are more um, physical. I, touch. Yes. Hang I on just, you. Braid my hair. Do my eyelashes. But it better be a sweet girl. Brush like, my like hair. Like a Jacob-like sweet girl. Like a Jaden. Like, like a sweet little chubby cheek yeah. girl. Because if it's anything like me, <laughs> I can't do it. I really can't. I really can't. But I really, really want a boy. Not that I'll be upset either one. But I'm team girl. I'm team boy. I got so many cute names. I got so many. uh, We have from 11 month to 24 month. (laughs) Stacks. Stacks. Gucci. Louis. Prada. All of that. Jordans. Goodwill. (laughs) (laughs) Thrifter. Honestly. No, and we're stacked with shoes and and clothes and onesies and we're good Amen. so if i have a boy i get all those when you're done when i'm done having kids mm-hmm. I asked Jake that will I never s- be done no Kristen will be done after five three four 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 of my own five kids three of my own grayson i don't know yet i'm trying to wait to see how this goes <laughs> this birth but I feel like it's so fun. <laughs> Everyone's like, birth is like terrible, but like. It's like having a doll that. But like, I feel like it's just the way of like you. life. Yeah, you, you have, have to, to do get it one birth. Day. It's fun. And then just have a kid for the rest of it. It's like tattoos. It, yes. Go through it. You want to do it again. And I do it again. Uh-huh. And I have a feeling. Well, how do you know when to that, stop? That Jacob's pulp method's just not working. Fantastic. <clears throat> I'm thinking it's, it's. He's going to be the one to have to take birth control. You know, there's a men's Okay, here's my now. thing is I've never been on birth control. So I'm really scared about how it's going to affect my body. And I'm really like anal. So you try different ones if it has different reactions. I just am really anal because then I don't want there to be problems because I can't have a kid because I was on birth control and getting off and having to wait three months before you can try. Like, I just am really weird about that. But then now that I realize, shoot. <laughs> it's coming. I'm having a kid. See, hopefully I don't have that problem because I've been on it since I was 16 and still yeah. on the same one. So this is still a huge talk to talk about getting on birth control after I have this baby. You can always but do then the again, condom version. Okay. Who wants to stop? No. Get up. <laughs> open the drawer. No. Put it back. It's already soft. <laughs> and then watching him put it on. And then it smells. I'm like. Blow no. it up. Okay. No, no, no. Just watching him hear the. And then he has to roll it. I'm like. It's so awkward. You're like. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not doing it. As much as it's great. Like, Actually, by the way, I'm allergic to latex. <laughs> Use protection kids. Don't learn from us. But what I'm saying is, if you had advice, it feels better without it. But that didn't come from me. Don't listen to her. My <laughs> advice. Really? When's the last My time you ad- used a condom? Yeah, but I have protection. I didn't ask you. With a pill uh, that I hardly take. <laughs> but don't even- listen to me. But I'm just saying, have you ever used a condom before, though? Yeah. How'd you like it? Took it off. Okay. <laughs> My point exactly. I don't suggest it. I won't, I won't lie to you. There's someone that's near and dear to your heart that one time pulled out a condom. And. Uh-huh. 
immediate. I was like, <laughs> ew. The feeling, it's like, what is that stench? I'd rather smell my own than that. <laughs> if you get a flavored. And then I'm going to have a yeast infection if it's flavored. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Don't get me a twisted on that one. Um, yeah, <laughs> honestly, use protection, but do it at your own risk. Yeah. At your own um, feelings. At your own feelings. But mm. yeah, no. So after I had this baby, I was like, Jacob, why don't we just get him over with? Have our three kids within a year and a half to two years of Where each are you other. Where put them? Well, I'm... Stack half, them? Like sardines? Uh, bunk beds. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm serious though. Like, okay, now that I'm already having a kid, I can plan, okay, well, I don't want I don't want them to be not close in age. I grew up with all close siblings. Not and me. Si- and cousins. Like Ten years apart. Well... Mom went through some stuff. Okay. Mom. Me too. <laughs> sure. But no, that's kind of what you have to think about, though. Because when you start having a kid, you're like, okay, wait, I don't want to have another one in six years. Maybe you do. Mm-hmm. But I want to have one now because of my age, but not with the brain knowledge I have right now. Well, you learn a lot. Mm-hmm. I'll have to prepare. There's a, there's a lot of moms, and I could probably just come out and say one of them that I know that have got not a clue. Mm-hmm. We're still learning. Mm-hmm. Why are you, you only shaking live your once. head? Why are you shaking your head? Out, She's giggling. No, leave it. It's fun. No, it's funny. She's talking I, <clears throat> I think personally I could have a child right now. I think I'd be prepared. I, I got it. No, I got this house. I got I, this. But my ADHD is a full-on squirrel. Yes. So that's what happens when you... That's why when we talk about going to see a psychiatrist, that's something that I'm going to be thinking about changing their diaper while I'm sleeping. Yeah. Change diaper. Make sure they have their, this apple juice. Do they like but apple I juice? Say, I don't know. Do they like apple juice? Probably not. They're probably allergic. They're probably going to have an allergic reaction. Will, so they need to get shots. Do I, will I like vaccines? I say, like, while being pregnant, I feel like a lot of people just, like, a lot of women just naturally, like, it comes. become. I need Adderall. You do. That is what it's going to have to end, uh, come to. But then you, when you get pregnant, you have to stop taking it. That'll be fine because I'm going to just re- result to nothing. But if you help Stay on, at home. But if you help on a low dose, if you start on a low dose, it will just help you a little bit. But even if wean off of it. even if I am, I'm still going to have the brain of like, I want to make money. So I'm still going to Yeah, like, but, blah, 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 blah. but you say that now and you're not even pregnant. Mm-hmm. Like me, I was like, oh yeah, I don't mind doing OnlyFans at all. But now I'm like, no, no, because... But you have other options child, too now. Yeah, but so you have a thousand other... You have the same options oh, as yeah. me. A thousand... I just see from social media these moms... That sexualize being a mom really bad, like and fantasize it and say MILF and mommy milkers and post their tits and they're like, who wants to suck on them? Like, no, your child's starving. Let them. Oh like, seriously, like it's freaking weird. So I stopped. I'm not going to say that I probably wouldn't do that. Well, you'll have a different. I, I actually don't like my titties di- being sucked on, but, so that probably wouldn't come out of my mouth. What? But you don't MILF? Wanna- that's the, I'm, I'm going to be a milk. Yeah. I'll tell you what. But the thing is, but why on every post yeah. or why is everything? Okay, makes sense. I got that one. Just got sexualizing being a mom. Yeah, yeah, I got it. And I just don't feel comfortable taking pictures of myself half naked and everyone knows I'm growing a human being. Yeah. Like I just, I've been like mine, even though you can't see it, everyone knows I'm pregnant right now. And so if I have a caption of who wants to bend me over the bed, well, in reality, I, I, can't, I can't even bend. Do, be bent over the bed because it hurts. I cannot even get bent over by the bed of the person that got me pregnant because that shit hurts. Yeah, I understand what you're saying. Yeah, I, I can't do it. I mean, you do what you gotta do. I will. I and mean, if I become broke, then that's God's way of telling me this is exactly what you need to hey, do. Hey, but it's okay. You got other options to do other things, not just not just be a porn star. Yeah. And you know what? I'm okay with that. I'm okay with yeah. Not I that you. I didn't even do that shit anyways. And what I even post isn't even bad compared no, to what I post on Instagram. But, but it's just the You're whole... You're making me feel like shit, to be honest with you. No, but, but it's okay. But, no, you are you don't have... You're literally not even pregnant. No. Like you're... Not yet. No. Well, you use protection. We just went over this. Okay, but you act like that probably couldn't happen if you're on birth control. I could because I've seen I'm people saying, that... No, it's a 99%. <clears throat> has gotten pregnant and raw or just on birth control. Yes, it happens. Well, it's just like you just pretty much what I'm saying is when you're pregnant, you start just feeling different ways and you're saying you have like ADHD. But I think a lot of it just comes naturally. Like, OK, carrying this child, I'm going to have this child. And this one this what I start with what your body needs to grow the child. And that's your main focus. Yep. 
on that note, where um, are we living now? Homeless. <sighs> Don't call CPS. Again. Again. <sighs> I'm gripping. Um, what was the question? Where's, <laughs> where are you, bunk, where are you putting the bunk beds? Okay, so by the time y'all see this, we'll already be, I'll be already hopefully moved into my new house. Um, found somewhere. Oh, yeah. We're renting, but I've talked about this before. I just, just wasn't in the timing to buy a house right now but no it probably wait. shouldn't have been in my time no either. you're what's wrong i'm with lucky your, wait you're what's wrong with your timing now i got this denial and then all of a sudden because god said let there be light and i was light. so <laughs> yeah i got uh, a house too you did. and Congrats. we're literally she moving signed? at the same time which happens to be probably the worst possible thing that could happen because One. we're gonna have to want to thousand percent like you want to come to my house but no i have mine and so are you doing bunk is yours a three two so yes a three we're not doing bunk beds because by the time i give birth we're already be in that house i mean i'm only almost three months pregnant so i got another six 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 months and then that only leaves six more months left in the house or around that time, so the baby is just gonna sleep in a bassinet next to me. We'll have a crib and stuff, but we were focusing on getting a four bedroom. But then when we thought about it, we're like, oh, well, by time, you know, we have to go, you know, our lease is up. We're gonna have to look for a house, and that's when when we buy a house, we want to get the house big enough for when we expand. I'm excited. What was your question? Because I did I remember, answer it? To be honest it? with you, something about a house. Okay. Yeah. You, how many, be- how many bedrooms does your house have? Four. They're all upstairs, right? Yep. Yes. Four and four. There are four bathrooms. Huge ass kitchen. It's like a half. It's like a three and a half. I might have a roommate sooner or later. I don't know. Tyler's probably pouting about not being able to pick out the paint colors, but he doesn't even, can even match his clothes. Like- <laughs> he literally can't match his clothes. So... <gasps> Yeah, we're trying to figure that out while uh, my bed got returned because it was damaged. That was annoying. It ended up, it was in St. Pete and then all of a sudden turned around and went to Kentucky and I was like, are they going to Jacob's house or I was confused. Confused. Um, I ended up getting all the furniture, still can't figure out the paint. We're doing ADT, I got Frontier. But it's almost like livable. Yeah, we're moving in Saturday. That's so exciting. But I still have my house now too because i'm gonna still figure out how to put the cages i just found out my dog's pregnant i believe her tits probably the size of yours huge okay we're not gonna say any names but there's one specific person that i want to point out that actually put them in the same crate together knowing that she was in heat um I'm going to actually have the babies because I'm going to take care what of them. What did we learn, fine. though? What did we learn, though? We learned protection. not to trust anybody. Protection. There ain't no protection. I'll put a diaper on the motherfucker. He still went through. Oh, God. He still put it in the hole. And I thought, because he's a longer version of a dog, it would have to get him more to curl. So he pulled a Jacob, right. and he said, I'm sending it regardless. He's shooting on her back. I didn't know what was... I guess maybe it went through her back. Um, the curl was more of a curling motion. He got it in there some way or how I wasn't there because somebody put them in the crate if at the same time. A will, you hear that? In the crate at the same time. So now I have to take care of the puppies. I'm so excited. Don't get me wrong. I'm probably going to keep them all. No, I'm not. Oh God, um, please don't. Kristen has like a, a ultrasound machine thing. We're going to try and use I'll get it back. on her, but my vet seems to act like it's not a big deal that 25 year old me with a b c d and e has no idea how to birth puppies you have to cut their cord Mm -hmm. i'm not doing that why with scissors yeah not like it's gonna squirt everywhere no yes no it don't work like that what do you tighten a knot you clamp it and then you cut it clamp it with your fingertips that or a clamp you can do it. I'll, I'll do it. When? I don't know. When? Is that what you said? Yeah, when did they get birth? Like January 5th. I'll be out of town. I haven't even moved in yet. Yeah, uh-huh. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. No, you're not. Oh. January you're 5th. Coming. I just got a call saying, mm-hmm. January 5th, I can't be here. She's on another call. I'm going to have to fly you back. <laughs> 
<laughs> no, that'd be um, so cool though. Watching. Yeah, but the only Penny, thing that I'm uh, nervous about. Wait, do Penny. I say Penny? Yeah. Okay. Uh, only thing I'm nervous about is if there are only two, they can be too big, and mm-hmm. then she has to have a C-section. So if that is the case, and I find out that there's only two, I'm just gonna leave her in the hospital. I don't blame you though, because because that's it's a. I'm not losing my penny, my penny good. I'm not losing her. Wait, who's the dad? Taki. Oh, those gonna be some cute puppies. You're Taki Mini. That's gonna be some cute pups. It so. wasn't. It wasn't the time, but I guess it's the time because they're both pregnant at the same time. It happens. Shit. You happens. know that. You, do you, can I tell you something? Yeah. You guys got pregnant on the same day. What day? You're. I totally just lied. I just want to pretend it. Okay, we're pregnant oh. on the same day, but I did actually find out on the sheet. Uh, definitely on November first. Yeah, I think I got pregnant on um, what was called October seventh. That was the date of conception. I'm not sure what we were doing. It now. definitely had to be before that. No, I was on my period. Literally four days before that. Well, on that note, we're going to have babies. This whole next 2024 is going to be baby central. It is. We got a little baby. Watch bring the baby on the po- I'm going to have to be milking it. I'm not kidding. You're going to have a little I sleeve? I need to I'm learn in. how to breastfeed. What do you mean? You don't want to? No, I do. But, like, I feel like you gotta producing like flick milk, it. but producing milk, I think it's just hard to keep it going, keep a supply. And to be honest, <laughs> just have Jacob do it. He's an automatic. All right, babe. Yeah, but I feel like that's a really big stressor. What if you're not producing enough for your baby to eat? How are they going to tell you? I definitely think that your baby's going to be a sucker. What makes you say that? Her mom's a sucker. Her mom. No. Yes. Boy, oh, girl. I have been. I literally. We say good night, little oh, bean. Oh. Good night, little guy. That's what I say to him. Good night, little guy. We've been saying that since I'm gonna say good night, the week girl. I found out I was pregnant. Like you. It just doesn't sound right. Hi, little girl. No. Hey, well. Hi, little guy. Can we make a bet? I don't well, care. No, because then I'm gonna lose. No. I'll lose first. What do you mean? Because I'll know first. Maybe. And I'll lose. Wait, I may want you to not know yet because you made a whole big deal about how you didn't want to know. No, I said, what if we all don't know? Not well, some me. one person has well, to Well, I was going to do something else separately. No, two. I'll send it to Haley. But two. It's going to Haley first. Yeah, but I'm saying that's two. What you, I don't even know how it works because it's, it's a blood test. So I don't even know when. I was going to do something separate. What? Like, you, we know that other people are going to know, but I have to plan... No one has to plan. But them. I want to plan something separately. Okay, we'll have to talk about that. Cause I, do you mean at the gender reveal? Mm-hmm. Just like like a surprise I, thing. I get what you mean. But only way I know it, I mean, unless Haley will plan it, but then that wouldn't make sense. No. I just have to have someone to know to tell the fucking person. But also, I don't, I don't we'll want to even struggle. I, this isn't even for another month. But what were no, you... No, s- it'll be Monday. Shh. I'm scared. This fucker better I'm, be a I want to know. It. I want to know. I'm going to do other shit. Because I'm going to have like a... I told my sister if it was a girl that she can't even show up to the gender reveal. No one is. We're canceling the whole thing. No, because... We're canceling the whole... I'll have my own. We're canceling the whole thing if it's a girl. I'm going to have my own if it's a girl. With yourself. Yeah. You're going to pop a balloon yourself. Yes. I'm not even going to be By myself. I'm going to be like... (laughs) 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 No, I know I keep making jokes about it being a girl, but either... Whatever gender it will be loved it's by still gonna be so beautiful. many people. Mm-hmm. But if I had to pick a boy, there's just a girl. like, I ain't got to worry about it's so like even down to just wiping their butts and girls, there's so many crevices and uh, I can't, I'll do it. Go on. Just get a little duvet. I just, is that what they're called? I ain't got a clue. Dude, the thing that shoves it, like you wash it, get one of those in the pool and just, just let it sup in there. Oh, like the spray thing? Yeah. So you don't have to go in each end of a crutch. You might get some crusties in there if you don't get them out, but. Yeah. But I just feel like they're a little Anyhow. more work, but girls are fun. But boys, like, just so fun. They're so easy to shop for. So we're girls. Yes, clothes wise, but boys just. You have to just buy him a freaking truck. That's it. <laughs> just buy a girl Barbie. But then I got to buy all the stupid accessories to go with it. No, because then I got then five eat silicone heels laying around my house. 
slippers. I can't. And they just step on them. But then you have Legos. I mean, either Whatever. way. This is just a huge controversy, and we'll know in two, three weeks. Actually, a little, about a month. A month from today, we'll know what the gender is. Everyone will know. Well, a m- month and a day. Well, on that note, thanks for watching. Um, Merry Christmas. Are we doing another one for Christmas? Yes, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. I'll be... I'm not kidding. We got three seconds before I pee my pants. I peed my pants before, so... I pooped my pants before. Okay, I'm probably there too, so it's... I don't know what's coming out, which hole. We love you. (laughs) Love you guys. Thank you guys for coming. Have a great vagina. Comment and team boy or girl. Love you. Love you.